What is up, y'all? This is your boy CK here with another how to video with Bitcoin Magazine. This time, we are going to walk through how to set up a multi sig address with Caravan from Unchained Capital. And then we're going to talk about how do you spend from that multi sig address. Uh, Unchained team has created an absolutely fantastic free and open source wallet in order for you to spin up these multi-sig uh, addresses and then spend from them. Uh, it is a pretty easy process, but there are some nuances to it. This is really powerful software and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do everything in this really close and concise video. Before we get into it though, let's do a quick shout out. If you like Bitcoin Magazine, if you like this content, Content. If you appreciate us spreading Bitcoin and knowledge, give us a subscribe, pound that like button, you know, all that good stuff. Share this on Reddit, Twitter, TikTok, wherever you live on the social sphere. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, here is the main page. I'll actually go take a step back. So here is the caravan page. Unchained Capital, Unchained Capital dot GitHub dot IO backslash Caravan. So once you're in Caravan, it's a really simple UI just to do everything. But they have you know some information about how this stuff actually works, uh, talking about you know how keys works, uh, which browsers you should be using, which wallets they support, a bunch of different tutorials. And you're kind of greeted here with two options. So you can either set up one static address or you can set up a complete wallet that has the ability to generate fresh addresses every single time. Um, the way that this works is you set it up, you use it. When you turn it off, you have to reset everything up so it's not stable. It's not like Wasabi or not like Ledger Live or whatever where every time you visit, you just plug in your cold card and it's ready to go. It's holding on to all your information. So uh, really the use case here is to generate something, close it out for cold storage, but have all the information you need to retrieve those funds again. Uh, and you know, I'm excited to see what comes next from the Unchained team. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna click on wallet just cause I think they have a really sweet interface that you can check out. Um, so first and foremost, once you get in here, you can name the wallet. Uh, you have three spots for keys. Uh, you can actually increase that. So you have the ability to I think go up to seven in the quorum and then decide how many uh, keys are needed in order to spend. Um, so we are going to stick to a standard two of three multi-sig. Um, so uh, the Ledger S and Ledger X are supported as well as the uh, as well as the Model T and Model 1 on the Trezor. So I'm going to be using one Ledger Nano S and two Trezor Model Ts in order to demonstrate how to set this up. So again, I already put this as two of three. Um, I'm going to switch it to native Segway. You have the ability to do all three options here uh, for the multi-seg. And I'm just going to call this Wallet the Bitcoin, oh man, I messed that up. Bitcoin cuisine, uh, two. Okay, so I named that what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to, first I'm gonna use the ledger, so I'm gonna name this ledger. All right, so. I am plugging in my ledger now. So the first step is I need to plug in my pin on the ledger in order to get into the Bitcoin app on the wallet. So forgive me, I have to plug in all these digits. All right, I'm in the ledger and now I'm in the Bitcoin app. So now that it's there, I'm going to collect ledger. It's going to give me the BIP32 path. And then I have to hit import extended public key. So I click there. It shows up here. I'm going to hit connect. And then boom, you're done. 
Ledger is super, super easy with Caravan. So now I'm gonna unplug my Ledger. I have all the information I need. Next is Trezor number one. So plugging in the Trezor now. I'm gonna go to Trezor. I'm going to name this Trezor. All the same. I'm gonna hit export. And so with Trezor, it's a little bit different. So with Trezor, it's gonna take you to the, the normal Trezor uh, webpage. So this is normal if you're just using Trezor with um, any other wallet. Allow, you wanna export it now. And then this is the time where I plug in my pin on the Trezor. All right, boom, Trezor one is in. Last but not least, let's do Trezor number two. So I will continue naming these. Now, once again, go to Trezor. Import. It's gonna take me back to Trezor again. Allow once. Export. Here we go again with the pin. All right, now that I have all three wallets set up, I'm going to unplug it. We have all the information exported, and then I'm just gonna hit confirm. And then it's gonna generate my wallet. So now that we are inside of the wallet, if I have funds on here, it's gonna be listed here with the different addresses. If I want to receive, I click on receive and then you can put in the amount that you receive, but just gonna present you with the QR code. Here is the address and a SegWit native address. You can click here to copy it. You can also click on the QR code to copy it. Um, and you can actually roll through these, uh, you can roll through these, these addresses. So there's a button here to hit next address. So boom, next address, next address. So as you can see, um, this is a full fledged HD wallet. Again, one of the most important things here is that once you close down this instant, the wallet is gone. So you actually need all of these keys. You need to put them in the order that you set it up with. So in my case, Ledger 1, Trezor 1, Trezor 2. Um, and then I have to regenerate this wallet. So they have an easy button here, hit download, and it's going to give you all of the configuration information in order to set up the wallet. This is absolutely necessary. So as you can see here, this is the Bitcoin How To Wallet. It has all the information of, you know, what is the BIP32 path? What is the XPUB information? You can actually just take this document, copy this over into here and actually regenerate the wallet. So you don't need the additional hardware wallets in order to do it as long as you have this information, which means that this information on this .json file is your is your wallet right this is all if an attacker gets this info they can compromise and generate this wallet and then um, they can't spend but they can regenerate this wallet that's where you need the actual hardware wallets to actually spend uh spend from the address so uh, make sure to to pull this information make sure to download it and keep it in a safe place um, and then of course you can hit send. So this is where again, you want to put the address that you want to send to. Uh, you can put the amount that you want to send to, the fees, everything. And then uh, you can, once you set it all up, so the address you want to send to, the amount, um, you can actually put multiple addresses in here, which is pretty cool. So you can send to, um, you know, 
I can have, let's say, one Bitcoin in here, and then I can send 0.25 Bitcoin to four different addresses. Uh, or, you know, again, you can put differentiated amounts as well. Um, so really easy. Again, that is how you set up your Unchained Capital multi-sig wallet. Um, so actually my next step here is I'm going to send some funds to it and then uh, I'm going to show you how to spend those funds. All right, guys, now you see that the 0.001 BTC has been confirmed. Uh, it has it is here under my address list. Again, now it's time to spend this UTXO. Um, so I'm just gonna be sending it to one address um, into deep cold storage, oops. Let's copy that again. Okay guys, so now we are on the part where you're trying to spend your BTC. Um, I've gone in here, I've set my fee rate. You can decide how many sats per byte. I plugged in the address that I am sending the BTC to. Um, I hit max, so it's gonna be sending the max amount. Um, so there's right now there's 0 0.001 BTC. We're gonna be spending a little bit for that fee. And then I am going to hit preview the transaction. So again, it's gonna show everything that I need. I have to edit. If I need to edit, I can edit something, but showing me exactly how many fees, fee rate, all that good stuff, all the info you need. I'm gonna sign this transaction now. So I only need two of the three keys because this is a two of three multi-sig. So I am going to use ledger number one. Again, I got to go through the process. So got to go in here, boom, ledger. Now I need to log into the ledger Bitcoin app. Okay, I sign in, I need to hit sign. So now what's happening is the exact amount is appearing on my ledger and the address that I'm sending to. And I'm gonna confirm that that is in fact the address that I wanted. Yes, it is. Okay, boom, we have our first signature. So it's very important when you're dealing with Bitcoin, the hardware wallet needs to tell you the address that you're sending it to. And you need to confirm that, double confirm that in order to make sure that you are not being hacked in any way. Um, Bitcoin is final. So if you make a mistake here, it's over. Um, so next we have treasure one or treasure two. I am going to select treasure number two. So boom, got my treasure in there. Now I need to click sign. So got to go through this again. So hit once. Now I got to log in with my pin. Now, once again, is having me check the address. It is in fact the correct address. I'm gonna hit confirm. And then I am going to hit confirm again to send. Boom. Signature, signature. Here is the broadcast. This is what I need to broadcast to the Bitcoin network to move the funds into my next location. So I'm gonna hit broadcast. It has now broadcasted the transaction. So I hit return. There's now zero BTC in here. There's zero uh, addresses with BTC. I can hit spent. It's gonna show, boom, the UTXO has been spent. So you guys, that is it. That is how you set up a Caravan full wallet, a full walkthrough of how to use it to receive and then how to use it to send. We are gonna be creating another video about how to reconfigure this and to recreate this address. So that way you can re you can jump back into this wallet and reuse it. So that way, if you're using this for cold storage, you can come back to it. As long as you have that information that we locked up in that, uh, that configuration file that you downloaded. So let us know what you think. Make sure to go check out all the other amazing videos on Bitcoin Magazine uh, YouTube. Go check out Bitcoin Magazine Podcast and go check out BitcoinMagazine.com. And without further, uh, and last but not least, make sure to go check out Unchained Capital. Um, again, 
Caravan is amazing. It's free. It lets you do uh, cold storage, but they also offer a lot of amazing uh, different kind of uh, opportunities and options uh, on their website for you to do cold storage with their collaborative custody vaults, as well as to get a loan. Uh, Unchained Capital is one of the best uh, Bitcoin first companies out there. I personally use them. I highly recommend them. Parker, Drew, Joe, Phil, a fantastic team. Just naming a few, uh, I could go on. But yeah, check out Unchained Capital. And again, thank you for watching this Bitcoin how-to video.